Hello students! Welcome to Math and Magic. For this video, we are going to solve systems of linear equations into variables by substitution. As a recap, when two or more first degree or linear equations are related to each other, the set is referred as a system of linear equations. In the previous video, we use elimination method to solve linear systems. The values of x and y define the solution set. And when the equations were graphed, the coordinates of intersection represents the solution. In today's lesson, we will use substitution to solve such systems. This method is recommended to use when at least one of the two equations has a variable with numerical coefficient of 1. The process involves rewriting one equation in terms of one variable and then substitute it to the other equation. Now for you to better understand this, here is an example. Determine the solution of the linear system 2x plus 3y equals 11 and x minus 2y equals negative 5. Again, we need to look for an equation with a variable whose numerical coefficient is 1. So in this example, that is variable x in equation 2. Next, we will rewrite equation 2 in terms of x. Here, we will transpose negative 2y to the right side. It will become positive. Equation now will be x equals 2y minus 5. Then substitute the value of x, which is 2y minus 5, to equation 1 or 2x plus 3y equals 11. So that will be 2 times quantity 2y minus 5 plus 3y equals 11. Now distribute 2. 2 times 2y is 4y. 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. Then plus 3y. Still, on the right side is 11. Next, combine like terms. 4y plus 3y is equal to 7y. Transpose negative 10 to the right side. That will become positive 10. Adding 10 and 11, sum is 21. Now, to note the value of variable y, we need to divide both sides by 7 or its numerical coefficient. 7y divided by 7 is y. 21 divided by 7 is positive 3. Thus, the value of y is 3. After getting the value of a variable, we can now substitute this to equation 2 expressed in terms of x. So value of x is equal to 2y minus 5. Since y is equal to 3, right side will be 2 times 3 minus 5. 2 times positive 3 is positive 6 minus 5 is positive 1. Hence, the solution set of the linear system is positive 1, positive 3. Now, to check whether the values satisfy the linear equations, you may substitute this to either of the two equations. So, using equation 1, 2x plus 3y equals 11, if x is 1 and y is 3, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 3 times 3 or 9, 2 plus 9 is 11. As you can see, the value of the left side is the same as that of the right side, which means that our solution set is correct. Now, if you still want to check whether this value satisfy equation 2, then substitute the values. x minus 2y equals negative 5. That will be 1 minus 2 times 3. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. 1 minus 6 is negative 5. Hence, the solution set, positive 1, positive 3, is correct. So, illustrating this system, the graph would look like this. So the point of intersection of the two lines is at coordinate positive 1, positive 3, which is our solution set. For our second example, determine the solution of the linear system 2x minus y equals negative 1 and 6x plus 3y equals negative 3. Now in this example, variable y in equation 1 has a numerical coefficient of negative 1. So here, we will rewrite equation 1 in terms of variable y. Transpose 2x to the right side of the equation. It will become negative 2x. Equation now is negative y equals negative 2x minus 1. 
Now, take note that the numerical coefficient of variable y should be positive 1. So, since it is still negative, we need to multiply or divide both sides by negative 1. By doing so, equation will become y equals 2x plus 1. Substitute the value of y to equation 2. That will be 6x plus 3 times quantity 2x plus 1 equals negative 3. So following the previous steps, we will distribute 3 to the binomial 2x plus 1. Equation will be 6x plus 3 multiplied by 2x is 6x plus 3 times 1, which is 3, equals negative 3. Next, we will combine like terms. 6x plus 6x is equal to 12x. Positive 3 will be transposed to the right side. It will be negative 3. Subtracting it by 3 is negative 6. Then, divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of the variable, which is 12. 12x divided by 12 is x. Negative 6 divided by 12 is negative 1 half. Thus, the value of x for this system is negative 1 half. Now, to solve for variable y, we will use equation 1 expressed in terms of y. That will be y equals 2 times negative 1 half plus 1. 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1 plus 1 is 0. Hence, the value of y is 0. Now, to check the solution set, we will substitute the values to equation 2. 6x plus 3y equals negative 3. If x is equal to negative 1 half and y is equal to 0, 6 times negative 1 half is negative 3 plus 3 times 0 is 0. Since the left side and the right side values are now equal, therefore the solution set is correct. The graph of the linear system would look like this. So the point of intersection of the two lines is at coordinate negative 1 half 0. For our third example, determine the solution of the linear system 4x plus 2y equals negative 2 and 3x plus 5y equals positive 16. So for this example, as you can see, none of the variables have a numerical coefficient of 1. So when given this type of equation, what you will do is to look for equation whose numerical coefficients and constant are divisible by a certain number. Observe that in equation 1, all numerical coefficients and constant are divisible by 2. So dividing the equation by this number, it will be 2x plus y equals negative 1. Now the equation is already transformable in terms of y. Doing the same process, Transpose 2x to the right side, equation will become y equals negative 2x minus 1. Next, substitute the value of y in equation 2. That will be 3x plus 5 times quantity negative 2x minus 1 equals 16. Distribute 5. 5 times negative 2x is negative 10x. 5 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 5. Equation now is 3x minus 10x minus 5 equals 16. After that, combine like terms, 3x minus 10x is negative 7x. Transpose negative 5 to the right side, it will be positive 5, then add 16. Sum is 21. Divide both sides by negative 7. x is now equal to 21 divided by negative 7 or simply negative 3. Substitute this value to equation 1 expressed in terms of variable y. That will be y equals negative 2 times negative 3 minus 1. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6, minus 1 is positive 5. Thus, the solution set for this linear system is negative 3, positive 5. To check whether the solution set is correct, Substitute the values to any of the two equations. Say the original equation 1, 4x plus 2y equals negative 2. It will become 4 times negative 3 plus 2 times positive 5 equals negative 2. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 plus 2 times 5 is 10. Negative 12 plus 10 is negative 2. 
Hence, the solution set for this linear system is negative 3, positive 5. Graphing the linear system would look like this. So, the point of intersection is at coordinate negative 3, positive 5. Thank you for watching. God bless.